In this video, we will look at more ways of integrating your technological pedagogical English language knowledge, that is, your TPELC. Let's start by looking at a third pedagogical approach that has been enhanced by technology. Like task-based and genre-based teaching, project-based language teaching benefits from the information and examples of texts on the internet. It also benefits from the connections that learners can make with other English learners. Project-based language teaching guides students to create projects on a topic that interests them. They create their projects by reading, analyzing, and learning about a topic. Then they create a presentation for others to see. For example, a project might present results of an investigation of the historical roots of a cultural practice. Another project might show how communication occurred before the internet. Another project could display predictions about the effects of climate change on the student city. Project-based learning includes the following characteristics. Authenticity. Projects are meaningful and relevant to students. The internet allows students to find authentic current materials. Collaboration. Students collaborate with other students and receive guidance from mentors. The internet provides tools for collaboration outside class. Reflection. Students reflect on their work and their learning throughout the project. Students can be guided to write individually about their project while they collaborate with others. Public product. Students' work is publicly displayed or presented to be discussed by others. Projects can be created using digital tools to create professional presentations to post online and present in class. In an article in the English Teaching Forum by Yazdanpana described how they used project-based teaching in EFL classes in Vietnam. This article contains a lot of ideas for project-based language teaching. Technology provides the tools you need to implement them. All three of the pedagogical approaches that integrate language knowledge and skills can be challenging to implement when they require changes in standard practices. But with your new technological pedagogical English language knowledge, you know that the technology creates new possibilities. There is an interesting article in the English Teaching Forum by Butler, Helsip, and Kurth, who describe a process for EFL teachers to integrate new materials and activities into their teaching. It's called a 10-step process for developing teaching units. It is a great way to plan for incremental change in your teaching. But it's missing one thing. It starts by identifying students' needs. But who decides that students' needs need to be identified? Who decides to step into that 10-step process for developing new teaching units? There has to be an innovator who says, let's re-examine students' needs. And I think that innovator is you. An important aspect of TPELC is to take the responsibility for using your knowledge to help your students use technology to learn English. As an innovator, you also use your TPELC to help your colleagues learn how to use technology to help their students.